Joining us now at Ohika Castle is Patrick Godfrey. Welcome, and how are you today? I'm fantastic. Couldn't be more excited for, you know, some golf, some dancing later, and, uh, you know, raising money for two great charities. So, you know, this is uh, as good as it gets for me. Now, dancing later, I didn't know that you're a dancer. Like, well, I heard you... DJ Scribble's gonna be here, okay. and uh, I am known to cut a rug, you know, every once in a while. So it's not always gonna be pretty, but right. there will be a, a large 240 pound man out there all night long. Lovely. Now, were you homecoming king, or were you on like like the homecoming court or something like that? You know, I uh, I don't know if I was quite cool enough to be homecoming king. I right. was like more of a homecoming king wannabe. You okay. See, as an offensive lineman, and offensive linemen don't get a ton of love as we're coming up. A little, you know, a few more baby, baby pounds than I needed maybe. But, um, you know, you get the last laugh. Uh, you do, because so. now you're looking very nice. And, uh, <laughs> you're married, you have a beautiful family. So tell us about that. How, how did love come about? Um, so I really, uh, I owe a lot to Clemson University, but um, number one on my list is really meeting my wife. Um, I met her when I was a junior in college, still playing college football, so I was about 285 pounds, and uh, I'm sitting out of my balcony one night, and uh, I see this beautiful girl running by uh, as I'm sitting up there drinking beers, girl chasing after a dog wearing, wearing a nice dress. So I run down there, help her catch the dog, got her phone number, and as they say, the rest is history. So, so football uh, did help you because you were a good runner and you were uh, able to like, you know, you made it. A hundred percent, yeah, I got, <laughs> got very lucky. But yeah, that's probably the thing I'm most grateful for. More than any of the rings or anything like that, this is, this is my favorite ring. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, you're friends with Big Daddy Rich Salgado, and that's uh, why we're both here at this celebrity golf outing. What made you say yes? Because you did some really special things behind the scenes that made this a successful Charity, but why did you say yes? You know, I, I got the chance to come here last year and, you know, see what this event was all about. And I was really blown away, you know, because really what it is, is it's, you know, the best of the best of the Long Island, New York community coming together and saying, hey, we're going to fight for something bigger than ourselves. Um, so when Rich reached out to me and asked if I'd consider being a, uh, a board member this year, I was, I was blown away and honored to begin with. And I said, you know, hell yeah, what, what can I do? So one way I stepped up is I've got a little bit of graph design skills just from playing around, uh, you know, on my couch um, and, and stepped up in that way. But, but really, you know, when you look at the kind of charities we're supporting today, being Kids Need More and Pop Earth, um, it's really, really bigger than us. And it was very easy to do all this amount of work knowing, hey, this is gonna have a really great ends for a lot of kids hopefully out there whose lives are gonna be immeasurably better because of the work being put in here today. Patrick, thank you so much. And you also drove kind of far, right? You, yeah. you were in North Carolina. Yeah. What was your drive like coming I had, out? I had a wedding in North Carolina on Saturday night. So I got, got back around midnight, woke up around five hours later, humped it up here. And uh, you know, I was a little bit tired along the way, but being at Ohiga Castle makes it all 100% worth it. Now, how's your golf game? Uh, my golf game isn't the best. Okay, so, so we'll put you midway in yeah, the carts, you know? Yeah, maybe hide me somewhere. Okay, we'll hide I, you. <laughs> I've also been in discussions about maybe being the beer caddy for everybody, so I'm just going to make myself useful however possible. I was today. thinking about selling mulligans. I don't know if they yeah, still do that, but yeah, yeah something. Yeah. Oh, I could make a lot of money, I'm sure, selling mulligans today. We're, we're going to need them. It's, uh, it's wet out there. It so. is wet out there. Patrick, yep. thank you so much. Hey, and your thank, artwork thank is really, you so much. really, really beautiful. Appreciate it, Donna. Thank I appreciate you, for you me. too. Patrick, thank you so much. And stay tuned, we're living it up right here at Ohika Castle. Got to back up. Living it up with Come over Don here, Patrick. Woo, yeah.